Good morning. Good morning. Right? It's still morning. Yeah. Yeah, 10.40 it's morning. We've been up uh, for a while. Yeah, we woke up pretty early and edited our Swish and Flick podcast and Grown Up Kids podcast. Um, and now we are going to go and show you some fun stuff in Kent. Uh, one of our favorite coffee shops called Tree City Coffee. Coffee day. Yeah. Every Saturday, Katie and I go on a coffee date. So this it helps week. Us because then it stops me from buying coffee during the week. Yeah, because we have this pricey. to look forward to. So yeah. every Saturday, we treat ourselves to coffee together. Um, and so we're going to Tree City Coffee. We're going to show you that. And then we have some fun adventures planned up in Cleveland that we're going to take you on. Yeah. So we'll see you in a bit. We're in downtown Kent. It is pretty chilly, so <laughs> I'm definitely going to get a warm coffee. Um, Someone didn't wear a coat. Literally no seats in there, so and like no we have a coffee. Ready to leave. Kate has her coffee and we've got little snacks. I got a biscuit and she got a scone. We have to go to the car. And I feel bad because Meg's like, you know, we're running short on time. Why don't we just go to Starbucks? And I was like, but I want to go to Tree City. Well, I mean, theoretically, had there been somewhere to sit, it is a much nicer atmosphere than Starbucks, I think. It's just like a little more local and it's cute. Yeah. But as a designer. Yeah, as a designer, mm -hmm. as designers, we really like the theming and branding and everything that's in there. But we got Cheers. our coffee. It's hot. Mine's not, really it's like the perfect temperature. Um, so one thing that I really like about Tree City is that they have seasonal drinks like specific to the holidays, not just where um, Starbucks has Christmas and then like fall. And I feel like that's really it. Like sometimes they add some frappuccinos in the spring and summer, but the famous unicorn frappuccino. <laughs> but Tree City has specific ones for Easter, um, springtime in general, they'll have special. Winter, of course. Yeah, winter, they have like 4th of July specials, all that kind of stuff. I think they would just have summer too, would you say that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I got one of their spring slash Easter specials called Little Bo Peep, and it is a chai tea latte with marshmallow fluff on it. Sounds really good. It's really good. So, I we're gonna have- I just got a vanilla latte. We're gonna have our date in the car. <laughs> So that biscuit was super yummy. The scone was really good. Their scones are like crispier, which I like. Like Starbucks is more like soft and not quite sticky, but there's like, if you want like a crisper, denser scone. Now we're on our way to my parents and then we're gonna head to the Museum of Contemporary Art in Cleveland. The Mocha. We've never been. I should have gotten a Mocha this morning. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we're gonna take you along. We'll see what they got there. I have no idea. Windy. Windy. 
are in downtown Cleveland and this is the Museum of Contemporary Art. I totally thought it was a different building, so it's really small. I don't know how long this is gonna take us, but we'll see ya in there. Hey, boy. This is like the purple wall, or the blue wall. Oh yeah, should we take a picture in front of it? Yes, I can't look at it. It's pretty <laughs> It was really small. But really cool. But but nice. Yeah. Um, so that's that's it behind us there. The sweet building, which kind of reminds me of the bean in Chicago. But like <laughs> Yeah, it's like obviously. it's not metal, it's all glass. Like it looks really reflective, but it's like all made out of glass mostly. Yeah. Um and they're I think that they mostly use it to showcase student art. Yeah. Uh, so they had a couple exhibits. You guys just saw it of some of the student art. I mean, it was neat. The first Saturday of every month is free. So don't forget, even in your hometown, adventure is out there. Mm -hmm. So thanks for following us, following along. Make sure that you like and subscribe. And comment, let us know if you liked it. Yeah, because I mean, yeah, like what Mike said, there's stuff in your hometown that is still to be discovered. Mm -hmm. We've got a whole list. We do. And you guys are gonna see it. Yep. Bye.